Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in and we are just waiting for everybody to show up and we will get our Tuesday topic show started. I do appreciate you guys being here and as soon as we get some eyes in the video we'll get moving forward. Um, my name is Mario, thank you for tuning in to Your Outdoor Adventures. <clears throat> okay, and we do have viewers tuning in so I do appreciate it guys. Evening everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. Mario here with Your Outdoor Adventures. To our return viewers, thank you as always. To our new viewers, thank you very much. Hopefully you pick up something in the video. Brings you back to watch some more. Um, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to Tuesday Topic. What's up, Just? Good to see you. And Stephanie, thank you very much for tuning in. Robbie, thank you for tuning in. So tonight's topic is uh, hunting, and it's going to be a short uh, show. I'm not doing a full hour tonight. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm still working on boxes, but I wanted to, we're coming into hunting season, squirrel season just started here in Georgia, I know some of the guys are uh, out hog hunting already, so thought I'd share a uh, humorous story with you guys tonight. Um, first, before we get started, I do want to thank everybody for tuning in, and hello Felicia, thank you very much for tuning in as well. Um, and if I could get a sound check in the chat real quick, if somebody could just say yes in the chat or throw a uh, like or a love in there, just so I know that everybody can hear me okay, we will get going with everything. All right, guys, thank you very much. So tonight's episode is actually sponsored by No BS Batteries. If you tune into the link in the beginning, thank you, Robbie. Do appreciate that sound check, buddy. And hey, Todd, how's it going? Uh, so tonight's show's epi uh, episode is sponsored by No BS Battery. Um, currently, the battery is in my big box, which this is my uh, fish finder box, my camping block. Uh, Chris Farrell is the founder of No BS Battery, and these things are amazing when it comes to the size and the prices that he has. Um, if you guys are looking at like Dakota Lithium and uh, Long Nose Lines, the uh, these batteries are cheaper and they are just as good and just as light. So this right here is the, pull this out so you guys can actually see it for one second here. So this is the brain currently in the box that I'm using. I, of course, had to throw a Your Outdoor Adventures label on there just to go ahead and customize it for myself. Uh, but you can contact Chris Farwell. He, uh, Farrell. He does the actual custom builds. Uh, so this box was built specifically for my battery block. Um, I know a couple members have already reached out to him as well. And uh, Juan Mendoza, uh, who just purchased a Krakenstein, a Krakenstein from us, um, is speaking with Chris as well about building a, I want to say he's building a 60 AH battery for him that is going to be a trolling motor box, has the Bluetooth speaker combined in it as well. The reason I led in with that is because this Saturday, if you guys are local and you guys don't have any plans, come out and see us. Uh, we're going to be at the mill on Etowah. It's in Canton, Georgia. We're going to be there Friday. What's up, uh, D Wild? Appreciate you tuning in, brother. Dwayne, thank you very much for being here. Kurt, good to see you. Thank you very much. So Saturday, we're going to be in Canton, Georgia. We're going to be... What's up, Josh? Um, we'll be set up with a tent. It's a three-day event. It is the Wildlife Expo. Uh, real quick, I'm going to just read this off for you guys. So not only are the shows and exhibits going to be amazing this weekend, they've got over 40 vendors offering a plethora of goods. Obviously, we are going to be one of the vendors. Uh, Kyle, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, they're going to have shopping, delicious food, cold beer, a place for kids to play, demonstrations, and music. Um, now, the, uh, the overall grander for this thing is they're expecting 7,000 people over three days. Uh, we'll be setting up on Friday, but then we'll be actually up there established and ready for business as of 10, uh, 8 a.m. on Saturday on Saturday morning. Uh, the They've got boats, RVs, stuff for Jeeps, golf carts, hammocks, canoes, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, axe throwing, um, Michael Shaggy, I know that's your thing, uh, fishing rods, fishing lords, birds and bear callers, taxidermy, wine, honey, cakes, coffee, beef jerky, all kinds of stuff. So tickets are free, entry is free. So if you guys don't have any plans and you are local, come out and see us. Uh, weather's supposed to be decent. Um, I, we're dealing with all the rain right now and getting over with it. What's up, Dan? Good to see you, brother. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get that one out of the way for you as well. Uh, we have a, another giveaway uh, that's going to be taking place. And this one, one moment, I forgot to grab the box.
Okay, so this one is for our hikers in the group, um, or anybody that just gets outdoors, and we all know that we lose cell phone service in different areas. So this is the Garmin eTrex 30X, and this is the GPS for you. So you do not need to get lost again. Uh, we are putting these up. Uh, a couple of people have already sparked some interest for it as well. I'll have a post up for you guys. Um, there will be a, it's, it's going to be a quick, small drawing on this one. Um, so keep an eye out for the E-Trex. All right, so hunting. Um, I just thought I'd go ahead and share with you here one of my toys and one of my accessories. Um, and I say mine, this is actually Sandra's. So if it tells you anything, mine's over on the wall. This one is Sandra's here. Uh, this is the Parker Crossbow. It is the Series Bushwhacker. Um, made by Parker, and it's got the red hot laser dot sight on it. Um, I, this is either 350 or 375. I want to say it was 350 pounds on the... Nope, never mind. Make that 150 pounds on the drawstring. Um... We have not dropped a deer with this yet. Um, we've gone ahead and done a lot of target practice in the backyard. I've used it and missed at two deer. Uh, I actually went over their backs and missed them. Uh, Sandra shot. Okay, so we were out target practicing in the back. And I've got pictures way, way back in the beginning of the group when I first started it. Uh, Sandra and I were out back target practicing. And I was using my Jaguar crossbow. Shot into the bullseye and I was like okay got got it ha 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 so Sandra goes ahead loads this up takes sight and fires it off you would swear you were in a Robin Hood movie her bolt literally hit the back end of my bolt and curled the metal about a good three inches all the way down I'll have to find the picture and post it up it, it was crazy just her bolt was just in the back end of my bolt it was nuts so, uh, how are you guys doing tonight? And what's up, Dalton? Good to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Jeremy, thank you for tuning in. And Richard, thank you. What's up, Brandon? Thanks for tuning in, brother. All right, guys. So, once again, um, the Tuesday topics, um, it's something we'd like to go ahead and keep continuing to doing. Uh, I'm working with the audio and stuff, trying to figure out what we can do, because I'd like to bring you guys on live. We've been trying to do this, and... It works for some reason it works on Justin's phone no problem I try to do it on my phone and you can bring somebody on you can have a conversation but when they leave it cuts off the volume and nobody can hear me uh, I'm running a Samsung s8 don't know if that makes a difference or not not sure why it's happening but I'm looking into other audio options and different ways to go ahead and uh, just broadcast on a Tuesday night I picked Tuesday nights because Tuesday topics it worked out well and there's another but there's a bunch of other groups that we support as well and I did not want to conflict with their schedules. Um, Fish North Georgia, loved their episodes on Thursday night. Didn't want to mess up their Thursday nights and, and take any viewership away. So we chose Tuesdays. Uh, it's not a very high activity night. So if you guys get the opportunity to, when you're in here, share out the video for us. Um, share out the group. Try and bring some more folks in. Get, up, get more eyes on us. You know how much I appreciate it. You also know that every 500 members that come in, I reward you guys by sending something out for free. Um, so it's a win-win and it's always appreciated. Um, since we can't do the conversations, Apple works good for sound. Thank you, Robbie. Well, way, way to rub that in there. Um, so what's up, Jorge? Thank you very much. What's up, Kyle? Good to see you. Uh, Kyle, I'm going to shoot you a message after the uh, episode. So with the Tuesday topic, since we can't do it this way, what I would love to do is... Um, if you guys could follow up either with, you know, your own little story afterwards in chat or just a short story or in the comments section, um, sharing something of your own. And I'd like to also go ahead and, you know, have the people come on to do it. But if somebody ever wants to get on a Tuesday night and actually host an episode, get with me. And I'll be more than happy to go ahead and have you run it and share a story. And that way you can open it up. Um, it's not very hard. It's a little intimidating at times. I don't know about you guys, and I don't know about the other the, the other content creators out there. I'm still not over the jitters. Um, I don't know if, if you guys can tell or not, but yeah, when I go live, I actually have 
Have you tried Zoom? I've uh, I've done Zoom, but I haven't done Zoom this way yet, so, so we haven't tried. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I still get the jitters. I'm still trying to find my comfortable spot. What's up, Chris? Thank you very much, Chris. I went ahead and uh, mentioned your battery, showed everybody the battery. Um, love this thing. Beautiful piece of work. And thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Okay. Um, all right. So my little story that I wanted to share with everybody in regards to hunting, um, there, there's a couple of them. But this one uh, was one I will never, ever forget. Um, no deer were hurt in the process of this hunting story. Uh, and this is not hunting advice. It's entertainment purposes only. Make sure we get that out there for you. All right. So, um, yeah, we went out hunting growing up. My dad was an avid hunter. Uh, still does it some now, but he's, he's getting up there, so he doesn't hunt as much. Uh, one of the things we used to do was go up to Tioga County, uh, and I want to say it was uh, the, the Pennsylvania, New York, like borderline right in there, but I know it was Tioga mm -hmm. County. And we'd go up, go up for a couple days, and it was always miserable. I was young. I want to say I was like, you know, 12, 13, 14, somewhere in that age range. And I still wasn't used to the whole get up, go out at four or five o'clock in the morning hike through the woods, tramp through the darkness, find a, find a hunting spot. You know, it was still stuff I was getting used to and just not comfortable with. And I'm not a three or four or five o'clock wake up person to begin with. Never have been. I've always been a late night person. So we go out to go hunting and we climb this mountain. Um, I'm at, my cousin Steve Smith is there, my uncle, a bunch of other people. What's up, Mike? Good to see you. Thank you very much. Keep the tuning in. Do appreciate it as well. Um, so we, we get out, and my dad's, you know, telling me where to go, where to sit. We find this little spot, and he's like, okay, you know, stay here. I'm on, I'm on coming down, the, down a hill, and where I'm situated at, so there's like a mountain behind me, and it's coming down, and then I'm on the hill. And then it keeps going down into a little gully, and then it comes up on the other side. And so, you know, like this, and I'm sitting here and the, the adults, the grownups at the time were supposed to be, um, well, they weren't tracking the year yet cause it was still dark. So everybody was getting situated and looking for where we were supposed to be situated. And I passed out, fell out, just fell asleep. I'm in there and you guys from up North know it. Those big, big bundle outfits, full solid, looks like an orange snowman just bundled up in that thing trying to stay warm so i find myself a nice little spot to go ahead and curl up in a ball and i fall asleep it's i i don't know it's maybe an hour hour and a half later and there's just this loud boom that goes off i jump up wake up my you know my dad and my uncle are off in the distance i have no idea what's going on because I, I totally was just like uh, uh right out of deep sleep. So my dad comes over and he's like, okay, did you see the deer, blah, 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 that you were supposed to be coming by, by this way? And I was like, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm over here trying to rub the, rub the sleep out of my eyes. And the deer comes flying down the hill past us, runs down the hill, goes to the goalie. I've got a pump shotgun, early teens, and this is just all just adrenaline at this point. And there was no aiming, no targeting, no anything. It was, I just, I dropped the gun to the hip and just boom, boom, shot off two rounds. That deer stopped on the other side of the hill, turned around and looked at us and stood there for a minute and then just walked off. Had, didn't care about us at all. So we get to talking. My dad's explaining, you know, hey, you should do this and do this and giving me different tips and stuff. And as we turn around, we realized that the entire time that I was sitting in this little cubby hole and being all comfortable, I was laying on a dead deer carcass and it was a bear den. There was bear crap all over the place. No idea whatsoever. I just had no idea. Um, so yeah, when you guys are out hunting, um, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, I, I think that's a, that's a good tip to have in there. 
Um, yeah, you like, yeah, I know, right? Good reactions to that. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Yeah, so that's a story that I'll never, ever forget. It's just, it's a memory that's just going to be ingrained in my head knowing that I was sleeping next to a deer carcass in a bear den. Crazy stuff. Um, same hunting trip. So my cousin shot a cow. Um, the cow lived. The cow didn't die. But it was still, it, it was where we were hunting on this property up in the mountains and there was farmland uh, and my cousin and I just at the same age just just as young still learning and everything else yeah the farm we, the farmer knew and everything else we you know we went through the whole thing of explaining all of it it was turned out okay um, but yeah it was I don't know what the whole story behind that one is I just know because they were I, I'd, I'd say probably half a mile to a, to a mile to our uh, east and where they were at there was a tree line and then there was a clearing and farm property and my cousin went and saw something at the tree line thought it was a deer went to shoot the deer and hit a cow in the farm so always be aware of your surroundings um guys uh like i said i just i wanted to share something humorous for you guys tonight give you guys something to laugh about share something about myself personally um you guys know I'm, I'm super open. It, it's I throw it up on the on the pages all the time. Um, I appreciate all the support you guys give us. You know, thank you very much for tuning in when you guys do. Don't forget to share out the group. Don't forget to invite your friends. Um, we're coming up on 30, uh, 3, 33, so almost thirty five hundred members, which is going to be another free giveaway. Uh, haven't decided what we're going to do for that one yet, but I think I'm going to gear that one towards a camping equipment giveaway. Um, I want to make sure that everybody in the group is getting something. I, I you know, I, I love our anglers, but we are angler strong, and I want to make sure that everybody gets included when it comes to an item that can be given away. Uh, guys, thank you as always for tuning in. Thank you always for being here. Continue to do good. Continue to stay blessed. Keep the positive energy flowing. Love you guys. You take care.